Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Okay, now, if you haven't checked it out yet, um, there was a, a pretty big uh, uh, update today, uh, and added a lot of quality of life stuff, but I, I'm not going to go into all the details. What I will say is, you can see these little icons over here. Um, there's some differences in town that you're going to want to check out. There's things that you can do with the characters that are different. You can see here that they actually look different. And then here's another feature that's kind of cool that was implemented. Now, if you have uh, a certain group lineup, in this case, two lepers and two vestals, gives you this little pop-up that comes up that says leper colony. Now, does it have any gameplay mechanic impact? I don't know. Will later on it just unlock an achievement? Not sure. But there's these different party combinations, and I wanted to do, I thought Leper Colony was kind of cool, so I spent almost 15,000 gold getting this group uh, upgraded, because, especially my Vestals, I haven't used them in a while, and it, it took quite a bit to get them up to par. We're going to do a veteran run into the wield here, and I have enough uh, money on hand to get them uh, provisioned correctly. So what I will do is... Um, somewhere around oh, over here-ish somewhere, because the cursor never seems to be where it's supposed to be when I record in this game. But somewhere over here on this side, there'll be a link to the update video that I did for build 8116. So you can click on that, and that'll explain all the details um, uh, about that update. I'm not going to go into all that in this one. Alright, so let's go ahead and provision, and then I'll talk about the team once we get in the dungeon. Okay, so we need these things. Right, the quest item. Let's put those over here for now. Uh, we're going to be doing this dark, so I don't really need... Should I grab torches? There's no torch interactions in the wield, right? Like, a pile of scrolls is not a random thing. No. Isn't, isn't that Warren's exclusive? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think pile of scrolls is... Worn exclusive, and there's nothing else that I can think of in the wield that would use a torch. So I'm just not going to take any. I am, however, going to grab three shovels, because there are things that you can interact with. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make it four. That's right. Four shovels. I'm going crazy, people. I'm going to grab some anti-venom, because there's plenty of things to interact with. With that, eh, maybe that's a bit much. One less. Let's grab some bandages. Let's grab some keys. Let's grab some holy water. Uh, what else? Uh, an herb, I guess? Just in case we come across a beast carcass. Let's grab two of those. And then... Let's grab... I don't imagine I'm going to need all that much food, but might as well be safe rather than sorry, right? Alright, so that's about as well as I've ever been provisioned. <laughs> Are you proud of me, people? It only took me 60 weeks of gameplay to actually spend money on provisions. Okay, so let's go in. Do do Into the wield we go. All right, let's take a look at the layout. Not too bad. Well, actually, the layout's not all that important because we do have to activate the infected corpses. All right, so let's take a look at the team here before we get going. We have obviously two lepers and two vestals. So in the first spot, we have Harry. He's equipped with the Berserker Mask. You can see here they made some changes. It's plus 20 max HP, plus 15 damage, plus three speed. Minus 15 stress resist, minus 15 stress heal. And generally speaking, all items got better. There were a few quote-unquote nerfs. The legendary bracers, which I still don't have a pair of, I guess did get a little bit of the nerf bat, but they were pretty overpowered. Now, case in point, the tough ring here, which was 8% protection, is now 10% protection, only minus 10 dodge, and plus 20% max HP. So it was already good, and it got better. So... I don't know. I, I don't know if that was a good decision or not. I'm trusting the devs. They seem to be monitoring things pretty closely. So we'll just go with it. Uh, another improvement here. These heavy boots that I had picked up. Plus 20% move resist. 
10% uh, protection, which is really good. Minus two speed, which on a, on a leper I don't care about too much, and minus five dodge I also don't care about. And then I'm wearing a... Uh, why the heck am I carrying a solar bracer? Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> okay, well, pull that off. So I've managed... I don't know how I did that. I had them all lined up. All my dark run stuff was all lined up, and I guess this was at the end of that. Oops. Well, we're running one trinket short, people. Go ahead, burn me an effigy in the comments. <laughs> I await... I await your... I await your flames. All right, so anyway, he's got um, heavy boots, and then our Vestals here. We've got Phoenix, Sniper's Ring, and Youth Chalice. And then Christie's using Archer's Ring and Youth Chalice. And then in terms of their skills, I set them up this way. Um, Mace Bash, because I don't really care, needed a fourth skill. Uh, judgment is good, and then the two healing ones. The other offensive ones actually add light, and since I'm doing a dark run, obviously didn't want Torchlight to be added. So I just snagged Mace Bash with no intention of really using it, um, but then using Judgment as a ranged attack, because it can hit any rank, right? And then the two heals. They're set up virtually identical, and then they have uh, Bless uh, as their kind of uh, you know combat prep skill. On the Lepers, um, the important one is Reflection, um, and then they're set up with Chop and Hue, Focus, and Withstand, and they're set up pretty much the same way, both of them. Now, let's see, should we go ahead and camp? Yeah, I think we should. A moment of respite. Does anyone have any stress? No. The coming horrors. Then we'll just do two, I guess. Yep, okay, so we need Reflection. Plus 10 Accuracy is what we're looking for here. And here. And then we're gonna Pray, which is plus 10 Accuracy, plus 10 Dodge. And then we're gonna do it again. Over here. So now we're looking at plus 10 Accuracy, right? Leper's biggest issue is the fact that they just don't have very much Accuracy, but Plus 20 accuracy, plus 10 dodge on both of them is uh, pretty pretty good. So this is some nice synergy that this group actually has. Um, and is there anything else? N no, I don't see anything else. Oh, stress resist, sure. Let's give it to you. All right. So other than bringing one wrong trinket, I'm feeling okay about my setup. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, we'll set this back up here because I do want to take it back. All right. Which actually, what's the penalty for when it's dark? Minus two crit, minus five dodge. If my pack fills up, I actually will put it on and take the, the malice. Hello, spiders! Be gone, nice. Feed. Whatever, stupid spider. Executed with impunity. Uh, okay, we'll take all, then dump the deeds. Sapphire can go over here. Um, the color, by the way, you can change on the palette down here before. Again, check out that other video for all of the details. The reason I mention it now is that these are my characters, but they are your characters too. Every single character in this LP represents a subscriber character. So if there's a color layout that you like of the four, um, let me know, and I'll be happy to change it for you. Just let me know in the comments. This goes to, to anyone, not just the ones in this video. Okay, mummified remains. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. I don't think I've ever done this one. Maybe I have. I just I'm not remembering it. 
Yeah, we have to apply these solves. Yeah. Yeah, not remembering it. But again, if you've watched me for any given period of time at all, you know Mal's memory is pretty horrible. Yes. Hey, at least I don't try to say otherwise, right? I'm like... Mr. Forgetful Guy. I can't really help it. No. Swiss cheese, basically. Holes in my head. Holes in my head. Sack is empty, alright. Is this... Nope, left luggage. Okay, now this, you can open with a key or you can use a shovel. No, this actually is a key. Left luggage is a key, not a shovel. That's right. If right. only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I swear the game knows when you have, like, a bunch of stuff that can interact. Yeah, it, it knows. It just does. Like, I've got tons of this anti-venom, right? But nothing so far to use it. Oh, hey, hold on. Speaking of which, can I actually move stuff up there? No, I can't. You can use stuff from the actual loot crate. That was another thing that changed, so hopefully I'll be able to show you that at some point here in the video. Do I have other food I can get rid of? No, not really, and that doesn't stack anymore? Well... Medicinal herbs... Get rid of the food? What do you guys think? Hmm... You know what? Let's do this. Let's heal up to full and swap this. We'll drop four food and take that. Hey, hey, what's up, skeleton slash other dudes? How you like me now? Judgment here. Dodged, really? She's got plus 20, 20 accuracy, too. Wow. I'm a little surprised by that. Press See ya. Advantage. Give them no quarter. As nice. The fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay, so... Not enough room, huh? Well, I want the onyx. You know what? Here. Just wear this stupid bracer. I would drop it, but I can't, because I want to take it back. So 50 gold? Nothing here worth trading 50 gold for, so we will leave that. Hopefully I find one of these quest items soon and I can get rid of some of these things. Free up some space. Okay, here we go. These should be quest items. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was if they if you could find a quest item. Sometimes you well, could, you know, find them measure. in the, the actual pathway. And the foolhardy alike. Okay, I need this stuff. Okay, drop one anti-venom. Grab the emeralds. I want the gold too, though. So, yeah. Drop the herbs for it, you think? I mean, I... Yes. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, no one's great at disarming, so just soak the damage or whatever. Ambushed there you go. Bowl invention. All right, ectoplasms. That's right. Okay. 
Ah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go down. Maybe. There we go. 23 crit. Nice. Dissuade the sharpened blade. A powerful blow. Psh, whatever with your one, one damage. Uh, actually, you know what? Why don't you stress heal? Mm-hmm. And why don't you heal heal? And why don't you heal as well? What, are you gonna split? That's fine. Whatever. Confidence see ya. As the enemy crumbles. Okay, let's see. I don't really want to kill him. I think I'll just buff. There we go. Because I just want to top off. I might as well, right? Just, just to be careful. Stop doing that! I'm trying to top off! Stupid slime. Okay, there. One damage to him. She can heal... like this. Nothing good can come... Oh! Darn it. Fine, kill it. Decimated. Okay, yep, don't care about that thing. So, that was an indicator that it was a quest item, right? I didn't pass up a different beast carcass thinking that's what it was, right? Right? <laughs> I hope I didn't. I don't think I did. Oh, hello, doggies. Gonna mark me? Alright. Ooh, 10 crits. About to break. That, was, that wasn't very nice. Another crit. Hey now, you need to settle down with that. Go ahead and heal yourself. Likewise. There we go. Bye, doggies. Well struck. Oh, you're going down, crone. You mark away. You mark all you want. Not gonna save you, lady. With a twig hat. Expedition at least promises success. She thinks she's all tough with her twig hat. I'm not afraid of her. Twig hat. Psh. Whatever. All right, what do we got here? Okay. Yeah, these um, melee characters, this like this guy and even the skeleton against these strike. these characters that have uh, you know protection stat, psh, they don't do hardly anything unless they get a crit. Just pretty nice, really. Okay, let's do a party heal. She's already gone, so I can't deal with her. Stress kind of sucks. Not much I can do about it at this point. Destroyed. I guess I can have him start casting stress heal a lot. Yeah, why don't I do that? Because we have plenty of healing. So let's do some stress healing. He seems to be the one that's most messed up by it. You have no stress. Okay. Improve your accuracy then?
Nah, we might pick up stress. Nope, this is the last one we can do, though. Alright. So do this, and then somebody else kill him. There we go. Yeah, we might be able to whittle that down if we just sort of carry a few extra rounds every fight. And insidious killer. Yeah, we should be able to. One, two damage for one round? Nah, we'll just soak that. Okay, eat. Uh, is that a regular carcass? Yeah, alright. I don't have any herbs. I dropped those to pick up loot. Wait, let's collect ourselves. We're collected, let's go. Oh, hi. Let's see. You know what? Why don't we start with buffing? Why not? Let's see. She's human. Human. All right. Let's go for this. And again. Almost got her. How quickly the tide turns. And that stress is annoying. Oh, come on now. Let's let's be a little more ridiculous with it, shall we? Stupid RNG. Slide back. Killing me with the stress there. Because I'm out of position. Oh. Alright. Goodbye to you. Alright, shift back. Yeah. Lack of mobility in this group? Really not good, as you can see here. Of course, they were using confusion tactics, which. Yeah, shuffle is really, really bad for this group. Insanely bad. We'll be okay, but look at what it's doing to us in terms of like rolling up our stress and stuff. So, we'll have to pay for some stress reduction, it looks like. Can't be avoided at this point, I don't think. I'm gonna shuffle her around again. Alright. As long as I can attack from back there and get rid of the crone. Almost. Okay. Get rid of her. Now this should go a little easier for us. Kill him? No, not quite. Okay, let's grab a couple of heals here. This one here. This one here. Okay. That's my own dang fault. Should have just killed it. Alright, let's just do that then. Okay. There you go. Swapped it back. Thanks. I appreciate it.
Fully healed. Little stress heal and then he'll kill it. Yep. Well, or somebody will. Darn it. Yeah, here we go. Kill it. A victory. Okay. <laughs> uh. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Traveler's tent. Okay. I what? Traveler's tent. Holy water? No. Is there anything for Traveler's Scent? I think you just loot it. Yeah. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Cress. Paid for in blood. Okay, I want the cress. So. Give up the jade. See, I can use these right here. I don't have a reason to, but see how they're highlighted? I can actually use them. That's a cool change. All right, let's swap. For 250 gold, hold on to these other things. I think that makes sense, guys. Yeah, all right. Man. Okay, you need to do this. I don't need any more stress on the lead guy there. Glorious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy on witness. Yeah, matter of fact, Cameron, you can eyes. hang out up front now. Alright, here we go. Mummified remains. Oh, too many shovels, huh? Alright, well. Close. Okay, now, we gotta get something down quick. 73? Well, let's do as much as we can right off the bat. Took him down pretty far. Let's see if we could finish him. That would be ideal. Okay, he went for the tree smack. I'm alright with that. There we go. Now this should go a little better for us. Okay, let's heal you. Certainly a durable group in terms of physicality. No doubt about that. Stress, not so much. Not a high crit group, that's the problem. At least the way I have them configured. They're gonna hit, they're gonna do decent damage. What they're not gonna do... ...are tons of crits, other than the one I just got, you know? <laughs> As I'm talking about them. Trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Okay, hold on. Just, just hold on here. I want the gold. I don't want the shovel, I don't care about the shovel. So what are we gonna drop, guys? Bandages? I could I could drop band let's drop the bandages. We've already because we've already had several mummified corpses and stuff. I don't think we're gonna have more. That's the least likely thing that we're gonna have. Except now that I've gotten rid of the bandages, we'll we will get them. But we, we shouldn't, but we will. Yeah, invariably that's just the way it goes for me. Alright, so we're gonna drop this shovel, we're gonna drop these bandages. So be it. We're gonna unlock this. Okay. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be <sighs> the crests. Six crests worth five hundred gold. It kind of is, right? Do we want to keep this? Do we want to keep the onyx stack and get rid of the? Citrines and hope that the onyx stacks up. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, I don't want to. 
Or the holy water. The holy water. Well, here's the deal with the holy water. Okay, so best case scenario, we get like whatever. Uh pristine fountain, and that's going to remove our stress. We can remove that like that much stress, we can remove for 700 gold. So the reality is we are better off. We're better off getting rid of the holy water, actually. And trade that for the crest. That's a decent trade, I think. And that's my rationale for doing it. Yes. Alright, so close that. Let's go check this way out. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Really? Seriously with the ruby? Really? Drop the keys, you think? Eh, that's the next thing to go. I'm not dropping the food. I'm gonna need that. I don't want somebody going completely crazy ball in here. No. Mm -mm, I don't. Drop the keys for a thousand gold. Yeah. Yes. Don't look at me like that. That's a good idea and you know it. The question is, should I drop shovels for keys? Yes? I don't remember there being- I don't think there was any other blocks. Let me look on the map. Well. Hopefully that was a good move. There we go, infected corpse. Okay. Now. Carcass, we'll just keep going. Stupid trap. Damn you traps! Here, let's switch back here. Is that the last one? I don't know. No, doggies. No, she doesn't need more stress. No, doggies. No. No, doggies. Don't do it. There we go. That's a good hit. Come on. There we go. We should be mostly okay now. Good hit. Poison spores. Alright. Let's go with a heal. There we go. Protect himself a little bit there. Yep. You do that again. Let's grab a heal over here. Yeah, one damage. That's all that protection stacked. 56% protection. <laughs> yeah, he's unlikely to get hurt against physical attacks. Okay, we'll just keep working on this guy. Toss him a heal. Your heart's not going to burst. Shush your face. We've almost got this guy.
There we go. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Okay, I'm gonna swap this. Yep. Affected corpse, goodbye to you. Another fight, huh? Okay. Oh, hello, gargoyles. Hello, Slaveringu. Nice. Death waits. Darn you. Lightest laps in concentration. Don't you do it. Don't you. Do it. Uh. Worst possible thing. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna be paying for some stress reduction. <laughs> That's all right. We got a good haul out of here. Okay, we'll take all that. Okay, the medicinal herbs I actually do need. Why? Because I'm gonna need the food so that nobody else freaks out as we go and explore the rest of the dungeon. So 600 gold, swap with the jade. Yeah, I could do that. I need this. I don't technically need the anti-venom anymore. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's go. It was food. Back up here, if I recall correctly. Yeah, right here. So we'll use this. Take that. Holy water. Well, I could do this. Drop that last one and grab the holy water. We're going to go explore this other leg over here. I mean, we're already stressed out, so we might as well go and try and get as very much loot as we possibly can out of here. I mean, you always want to do that, but especially in this case, because we don't really have anything to lose, per se. Oh, actually, I, I'd like both of those. Yeah, because if I ever want to do this group again, I kind of like... Eh, I don't know. Do I really need another Youth Chalice? I don't... Actually, no, I don't. Because an Accuracy item and one Youth Chalice is a good combo. So probably not, actually. But I do want the Cress. So let's take those. And... Nope, nothing else. Close. Mummified Remains. We'll bypass that. Hello, Mushroom Heads. Bye, Mushroom Heads. Oh, they're not moving. They're not moving, ladies. Oh, nice! Man, when they hit, they hit, don't they? Okay, we'll take that. Okay, so here. Uh, here's an example of using from the actual loot deal. Got that right from there. That's nice. I like it. Uh, don't care about any of that, so close. And one last little leg here. Go ahead and eat. Shallow grave, we are out of the darn shovels. <sighs> okay, keep going. Hey, fellas. Sure. Crit. What else would you do? You do one point of damage, but everybody flips out. That need that does need a little tuning, I think. Uh oh. Uh oh. She's about to flip out. She's about to flip out.
Can we get out of here without her flipping out? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It's gonna be close. Uh-oh. Nope, she's gonna flip out, people! No, here it comes! Abusive! Okay. <laughs> That'll be all right. It'll be okay. Don't worry, we'll send her to the Abbey. She'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You guys get so worked up. Actually, with this particular configuration, I, I am curious. What do you think we could do, you know, given it being a medium run and the same kind of settings, what could we do to manage stress in here? I, I'm, I'm not really sure. Unless I, get, I unless I went the other way with the trinkets and said, maybe not have them be as tough, but try to get more crit. I mean, really, if you're going to have two lepers and two vestals, what, I mean, what else are you going to do, really? There's not a whole lot more you can do. Let's see. Swap. All right. I guess swap the... Yeah, swap this. Okay, get rid of that. Grab the other gold. Close. Don't you be starting any crap, Phoenix. You shut your face. All right, let's leave. We did pick up the another uh, archer's ring, too, which is another reason why I wanted to do this particular quest. How much did we pick up here? Wow. Okay, this is officially the most money I've made on a run. So that's cool. We're gonna get bad stuff here. Yeah, looks like it's clumsy. Oh, that was good. Oh, quick draw. Plus four speed first round, that's kind of cool. I don't know how cool it is on a Vestal, but cool nonetheless. All right, well, I'm gonna end this one here. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor, but I was dead before they found me, and the letter was on its way. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. As always, I appreciate your comments and feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.